In this video, we will be demonstrating how to attach your global tech accumulation table to the start of your conveyor using an adjustable gate system. We will be attaching a 3-foot table and an 8-foot conveyor, but the same principles apply no matter the size of either machine. Shown here are the tools you will need for setup. Once your accumulation table has been unpacked, we will attach the transfer plate to the slot at the start of your conveyor. Slide the knobs attached to carriage bolts, shown here, into the slot. Next, rest the slots and the transfer plate on the bolts. Make sure the washers on the carriage bolts are resting between the knobs and the front of the transfer plate. Tighten the knobs to lock the transfer plate in place, like so. To maximize the space on the conveyor, we recommend positioning the transfer plate as close to the end as possible, about 1 to 2 inches. To attach our adjustable gate system, we will need to temporarily remove the guide rails on the conveyor. Do so by loosening the jam nuts clamping the rails in place using a half-inch wrench, sliding them out and setting them aside for now. Loosen the black knobs holding the guide rail mounting brackets in place, and slide them out of the slots in the conveyor as well. The adjustable gate transfer system comes in two halves, the larger of which is shown here. Mount this half of the adjustable gate to the slots in the side of your conveyor opposite the transfer plate, like so. Once mounted, tighten the knobs to lock it in place. Do not worry about its exact positioning at this time, as we will make adjustments later on. The smaller half of the adjustable gate system is shown here. Mount these two brackets on the top slot of one side of the conveyor, across from the larger adjustable gate, like so. Just like before, don't worry about exact placement, as we will be adjusting this later on. We are almost ready to attach our accumulation table, but we need to level it first. Place your level on the line between two of the mounting posts, shown here. Do the same thing in the perpendicular direction. Get a sense for which of the legs of the accumulation table need to be raised or lowered for a smooth surface. To adjust the height of a leg of the accumulation table, loosen the height adjustment nut on the foot of that leg using a 15 16 wrench. Next, use a 7 8 wrench to turn the foot jam nut, located on the top of the foot. Turn it clockwise to lengthen the leg, or counterclockwise to shorten it. Once the accumulation table is level, use a 15 16 wrench to tighten the height adjustment nut until taut. With our accumulation table leveled and set to the proper height, move the table to its proper location by nesting its bend in the curve of the transfer plate. Double check the height to make sure the table is level with or slightly higher than the conveyor. Make sure that the ends of the circular guide rail are placed over the transfer plate. We will later be cutting an opening here, so it is important to cut the ends of the guide rail instead of the middle. This will keep the guide rail in one piece. Plug in your accumulation table. Listen for any scratching noises. If you hear any, this means that your table is grinding against your transfer plate. To stop this, move your table slightly until you no longer hear the scratching. Reinstall your brackets and guide rails along your conveyor, like so. In their current state, the guide rails will interfere with the flow of the bottles in the bottle track. We will need to modify them so that they no longer do this. Mark your guide rails to cut them at the points where they run through the adjustable gate system, like so. The conveyor guide rail furthest from the table does not need to be modified. Cut the guide rails that need cutting with a vise and a hacksaw, like so. Cut using precise and clean strokes along your marks. Reinstall your brackets and guide rails like so. Now that they've been modified, we can place some of our containers in the stream and adjust our guide rails and gates around them. To adjust the gates, loosen, but do not remove the mounting screws using a half-inch wrench and a quarter-inch hex key, like so. This will allow the plastic gates to move back and forth through the slots and the brackets. Position the gates so that they neatly guide the bottles off of the accumulation table and onto the conveyor. The smaller half of the adjustable gate should protrude about a bottle's width into the table, like so, enough so that it just catches one bottle at a time on the edge of the rotating disc. Retighten the mounting screws once you have adjusted your gates using the half-inch wrench and a quarter-inch hex key. To adjust the height of the accumulation guide rail, loosen, but do not remove the jam nut on the back of the mounting posts using a half-inch socket. Once loose, the guide rail clamp can move up or down accordingly. Tighten the jam nut using the half-inch socket once the guide rail has been adjusted. 
To adjust height of the conveyor guide rails, loosen the black knobs on the sides and slide the guide rails up and down along the mounting slots. To adjust the width, loosen the black knobs on top of the brackets to allow the mounting rods to slide in and out. Once the conveyor guide rails are properly adjusted, make sure the black knobs have been tightened. Your finished product stream should look something like this. Turn on both your conveyor and accumulation table to see your transfer system in action. If excess volume or disorganization of containers on your accumulation table is a problem, we recommend an unscrambler, shown here. This device is attached to the table and pushes containers to the outer edge of the table to be picked up. For more information on installing your unscrambler, please see our video tutorial on the subject.